<gasps> Dude, no way. <laughs> so early. Bro, I got it. Oh, man, that's just one thing I, I was like really, really hoping to get here. All right, RuneScapers, what's up? It has been a while. Uh, my hardcore's been through a lot recently. Uh, and so I'm just going to try to recount that the best I can and try to show you guys the interesting bits. And we will... Uh, yeah. First off is a bunch of clue scroll collection log slots. I, these are so boring. I'm not even going to include them all. I probably got like fucking 20 of them. Uh, I'm, I'm going to try to include more interesting stuff. For example is this wilderness footage. Uh, I didn't stream for like a week and a half. It, it was a solid 11 days straight. I was just killing wilderness bosses. I was really nervous at the start. You can see I'm just hovering over my teleport there for a bit. Um, anyway, I ended up yeah, starting with this spider boss. Um, my goal out here originally was to just get five kills and I got super addicted. I ended up getting a bunch of dragon pickaxes and then even uh, this little thing. Oh, <gasps> no way. No fucking way. There's just no way. The Void Waker gem is one of three pieces to the Void Waker, which is a sword. It has one of the best special attacks in the game, which pretty much guarantees a high hit every time. The Void Waker pieces have a drop rate of 1 in 912, so it was pretty lucky to get it this early. Uh, and since this piece was done, I decided to move on to the other Wilderness bosses. I just randomly picked Calvarion and started grinding him just as hard. I was doing like 200 kills a day, and this is all I got out of it. Skull of Vedian! It's a clog slot. Let's go. It upgrades the ref weapon. Yeah, I just, I got something. Fuck it. I don't plan on doing revs, so I'm not going to get the rev weapons, which is what the Skull of Vedian is for, but it is a 1 in 618, so it's kind of cool that I got it. I decided to do one more day at Calvarion, and I didn't end up getting anything, like I said, so I moved on to RDO for a little bit. RDO is definitely the hardest of the three bosses. You have to freeze him, and then he's got this phase where he's laying all these traps around, and he has a special attack that can do 50 damage if you don't dodge it. Uh, it it's just a lot, all the while you're trying to watch out for PKers. Uh, so Ardeo is definitely pretty scary. I ended up doing the most of this boss. I think I got over 600 kills. I'm like top 10 on the leaderboards right now. Uh, and I, I didn't get a ton out of it. I actually got a dragon pickaxe, a dragon two-hander. I got three of the Claws of Callisto, which is for the Revenant weapon here. Uh, that That's... We won't talk about that. What the fuck? I don't want these! I did have a couple of scares where I disconnected. I think this happened twice where, yeah, you see here, eventually, yes, yeah, I noticed my character's not attacking, so I definitely disconnected. I'm trying to teleport. It's not working. Hits this 50, and then finally my crystal procs. That could have been so bad. Uh, yeah, crystal, great update. And finally, this was the last drop that I got at RDO. <gasps> Ooh, yes, I wanted this. This is really good. Hey, hey, hey. that's great. Not even mad. The Tyrannical Ring can be imbued to give plus eight crush bonus, which is really useful for Corporal Beast. Uh, it's a boss that I do a lot of, so this will make when I'm doing my Warhammer specs a lot more accurate. Yeah, eventually, I logged in for my last Wildy Boss kill. Uh, if you keep up with my videos, you know that I got banned. Uh, and I'll just let this play out, but I have a, made a couple videos about this, so if you want to see more about that, you can go ahead and watch it. What's this whole obstacle to uh, try to get unbanned? Anyway, here's the clip. <gasps> what? I should be okay. The crystal should save me. 
after two days, the ban was taken away, and I was in Falador, meaning my escape crystal did save me. Uh, so that's nice. I'm still hardcore, uh, but I haven't done any wilderness bosses since this. Um, since then, I've pretty much been grinding a lot of Corrupted Gauntlet. Uh, since it's not Wildy content, I have been streaming this. Uh, I do stream most days at twitch.tv slash ringo792. Um, I also have been doing a good amount of Corporal Beast and some TOA. Uh, but right now, we're really focused on the Gauntlet. I'm, I have full Crystal Armor, so I just need that enhanced to make the Bofa. And then TOA is going to get a lot easier. I can do higher invocations. And we're going to go places. Anyway, yeah, the Hardcore has been through a lot recently a lot but uh we still in it yeah it's good shit i also just want to say a big shout out to mark and money i was on a recording but i was doing a birdhouse run and i saw them they were very nice <laughs>